One of the most frequently used uh, filter when talking about pivot tables is a fi value filter that can be applied just on the values shelf, but also uh, it can contain another conditions like top n, which is uh, quite popular on reports. So let's try that out inside a new pivot table and we will concentrate on the customer uh, analysis. So I place customer name on rows and sales on values. This is uh, the list of all of my unique customer names with uh, their sum of sales. I will just format the number and sort the data so that we see just the uh, descending order of uh, sets. So right now the first task is find the customer names with sales above 200k. So what we will do is we will go for the row labels icon, uh, auto filter icon, then value filters and greater than 200,000. We hit OK and we can see a shorter list of the customers. Let us right now copy and paste this uh, pivot table because right now we would like to limit the number of the customers we have on the list just to the best 10 customers we have. And this is going to be very similar to what we can do also in a normal uh, table where we can find number filters similar to what we saw before and also the so-called top 10 or top n filter uh, which can be applied. The difference is that we work on the aggregated data. So we first sum the sales for all of the customers and then we uh, calculate uh, the top n uh, items. In our case, we will concentrate on top 10 items. This is one of the most popular uh, scenario or the bottom uh, 10. Uh, but you can also work on percentages and on uh, sums. We hit OK and you will see right now that exactly the same list of customer remains. So maybe let's change it to the best uh, five customers to see uh, some uh, difference on the list and this is uh, what the end result is going to be. This uh, list uh, will have at max five customers, but there are some exceptions. If you have a draw, so people, for example, have exactly the same results, and then the list might be longer. Or the other scenario, if you apply a very strict filter, for example, on a postcode, which is not very popular in this database, the list might be shorter. Let's clear the filter and maybe remove postcode from filters at all. And let's try to solve right now another scenario by copying and pasting a pivot table. We would like to find customer names that made together 3 million of sales. Once again, this is uh, the top customer uh, names. So we are looking for the best customers we have. So this is very specific scenario of the top 10 filtering, which allows you to find not based on items or percentages, but based on the sum that you will uh, apply as a specific number, 3 million, this is what we are interested in. And after hitting OK, you will see that this list of 12 customers made together a bit more than 3 million, because if we would exclude the last customer, this wouldn't reach the 3 million limit. The next two scenarios will be tested within the hierarchy that we will have on the rows. Let's copy the previous pivot table paste it uh, next to it and let's clear the filter we have on rows and let's add the region uh, field on the rows chef above the customer uh, name. Uh, and right now you can see it's quite a long list of uh, items, but uh, I will just uh, collapse uh, entire field and maybe expand just <clears throat> the last one to see what we are uh, going to do right now. Uh, we can see right now uh, the customer names, but uh, divided also by regions. And we would like to find top three regions, but still give the uh, audience, the user of the report, the ability to look deeper into the uh, customer names. So just 
three top three regions. This means I need to select one of the regions on the list, then go for the um, auto filter icon and apply value filter top 10, which is going to refer to regions because regions are right now selected. And I would like to keep just top three items in here and you will see I have just three regions and right now I can drill down to my uh, customer names. Uh, I'm showing this scenario because it's going to work a bit differently if I will clear the filter right now and I will select maybe not the region, but the second level of my hierarchy, which is customer name. And right now, if I will apply the value filter, which is called top 10, you will see that I will keep just top three items, which means top three customer names, top customer names within each region. So if you drill down to any of the uh, regions, you will always see just top three uh, customers in there. This is quite interesting and might be useful in some um, scenarios.